What's going on guys? My name is Everletcher and today I am on the official Pixel Gun 3D channel presenting you with a new trader's van in Pixel Gun 3D. So today I am going to be going over this new trader's van in Pixel Gun 3D and I'm basically just going to be going over everything you guys need to know, the stats of the weapons, how much they cost at the max level, and whether or not you guys, which weapons you guys should buy um, with your playstyle. So keep in mind, all of these weapons were tested when I was level 46. The weapon was level 46, and they were all tested on a max level 55 player in the game. So if you are playing against people who are the same level as you, they're going to be better than what is listed here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. So the first weapon that we have is a semi-auto shotgun. It has a 330 coins and is a 5 to 12 shot kill at close to mid range, which is really not ideal for a shotgun. As you guys saw in the last video, the photon shotgun is a good bit better than this. Um, but then again, for 330 coins, this weapon does look pretty amazing. So if you are up to a very, very interesting challenge with a shotgun, this weapon just may be the weapon for you. Me personally, I would not buy it just because. Well, I really wish it'd have a little bit more damage, but then again, if you guys do have some of the wear items that make your primary weapons stronger, then you might be able to get this thing doing really, really well. And when it is on your own level, and not nine levels higher than what the weapon is, then you might be able to actually do pretty good. The next weapon is the Propitiator. I really think I'm saying that right. I'm not entirely sure. It is a five-shot headshot and a seven-shot body shot. It is 595 coins, which is an incredible price for this weapon, because keep in mind, it's a five-shot headshot shot to level 55 players when the le when the weapon level is only level 46. So when it is a max level, it's probably going to be a three shot headshot and that's going to be pretty insane. So if you guys do have the really, really good aim, unlike me, then this weapon is definitely going to be for you, especially for just 595 coins. Keep in mind, these prices are for the max level players, so yours might be cheaper than this. So the next one is one of my personal favorites, and it is the Deadly Digital System. This weapon is only 705 coins for a 3-shot kill to a max level player. Keep in mind, that is 9 levels higher than the level of my weapon. It has unlimited ammo, and it has area damage just like the Storm Hammer, which makes it incredible. Yes, it is a special weapon, but hey, if you guys do want to sacrifice using your Laser Bouncer or, one, or your Frozen Dragon, then go ahead and give this thing a shot because this thing is insane, and on close range maps, this thing can get you very, very high kill games. It is one of my favorite weapons overall in this trader's van, and I highly recommend trying it out if you love the area close range maps in this game. So the next one is another very, very interesting one in the game, and it is the Police Zapper. Yes, a freaking taser in Pixel Gun 3D. Who would have thought? I know you've already seen this weapon before. It is 1,330 coins, which is a little bit on the higher end. It is a three-shot headshot and a four-shot body shot. Keep in mind, that is nine levels higher than the level of the weapon. So at max level, it could possibly be a one to two-shot headshot and a three-shot body shot, or a two to three-shot body shot. This is a very fun weapon to use, especially on the mid-ranged maps. I love using it. It's one that I use quite a bit now and honestly if you guys do enjoy having just a fun special weapon and change it up a little bit and not use the flamethrowers or the lasers like I do I love changing it up then this weapon just may be for you if you guys do want to sacrifice the 1330 coins I'm not sure if you want to do that or not some of these weapons some of these prices could be adjusted a little bit and it just gets higher from here but that is it for the police zapper let's go ahead and get on to the next one so the next one is the airstrike laptop this weapon is for 1,410 coins, which is a bit higher than the police zapper. It's also a special weapon in, in this thing, and it's a four-shot kill. Just four shots. You can't really get headshots. It does have the manual guidance, but a four-shot kill for a charge a charge shot weapon, that's not really worth it to me. I was thinking maybe a one to two shot kill. And that, honestly, is just not really worth it to me. But it still is a very, very interesting weapon if you guys do want to have a good challenge in Pixel Gun 3D. I would personally take the Deadly Digital System or the Police Zapper over this. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting weapon to say, say the le uh, least amount that I can. But um, that's the Airstrike Laptop. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. So the next one is the Heavy Sniper. This is also one of my favorite weapons in this trader's van. It is a two-shot headshot, and it, but it is the most expensive weapon in this trader's van at 2,130 coins. If you do like weapons like the Brutal Headhunter or the Elephant Hunter, this weapon is just for you because it has the same type of feel, except it's a two-shot headshot. I'm not sure how well the Elephant Hunter is, but 2,130 coins, if you have it and you love using snipers, this weapon just may be for you. I love using it. It's a very, very fun. And when you do have it at max level 55, 
it's probably going to be a one-shot body and a one-shot headshot. So the Heavy Sniper is definitely one of the ones that you should probably buy if you do if you can sacrifice the coins for it. I would definitely do it. And with that being said, let's go and hop into the Heavy Weapons. So the first Heavy Weapon that we have is the Stinger 3000, aka the upgraded version of the Stinger in Pixelgun 3D. It does have the manual guidance. I believe that's what it's called on this. I'm not entirely sure. I do not remember. It is 1,650 coins, and it is a two-shot kill when you are level 46 and your opponents are level 55. So when you are equaled out, it'll probably be a one-shot kill. The one downside with this weapon is it does have a pretty low reload speed. So if you guys cannot hit your shots, this weapon might not be for you. But if you do have good aim or you like a challenge, definitely try out this weapon because it's a pretty powerful heavy weapon. And lastly, we have the Pixel Cola Refresher. This one is a reskin of the Judge, but it looks so freaking cool. I love it, except it does a bit less damage than the Stinger 3000. It is 1,770 coins, and it's a four-shot kill, but if you guys do have it equaled out from weapon level to player level, then it'll probably be a two or three shot kill. And it does have the looping effect. So if you do have good aim, this weapon just may be for you. And if you do love the cool Pixel Cola, which is Coke and Pepsi kind of combined, if you do have, if you do kind of like that look, then definitely go for this weapon. If you guys do want to see some more of my content, make sure you guys go down below to the description and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you do not miss out on my uploads. Uh, with that being said, thank you all so much to Pixagon 3D for allowing me to be here on this channel. Um, comment down below which one of these weapons is your favorite weapon in the game. And with that being said, make sure you guys leave a like. And I hope you all had a very, very blessed day. And I will see you all in the next video.